everyone. I'm going to read a new book to you today. It's entitled The Big House and the Little House, and it is by Yoshi Ueno, and it is illustrated by Emiko Fujishima. So the big house and the little house. Let's see what animals live in these houses and what their adventures are. Next to the little house was a beautiful river. Little mouse lived there all alone. Next to the big house was a big oak tree. Big bear lived there all by himself. So the mouse, live in, mouse lived in the little house and the bear lived in the big house. Every morning, little mouse went to town. At the same time, big bear went to the forest walking the opposite way. And that's why the two of them had never met. So see their houses on the same road, but bear goes that way and little mouse goes that way. Little mouse worked at a bakery. The days were busy, no time to chat. Big bear worked alone in the forest. There was no one to eat lunch with. So here's a bakery where Little Mouse lives, the forest where Big Bear lives, and he eats lunch all by himself. One Sunday, Little Mouse decided to go to the forest. Maybe I will meet someone there, Mouse said. Big Bear decided to go to town. How wonderful if I could meet someone nice there, said Bear. So they both want to meet someone, but Mouse is going to the forest and Bear is going to town that day. Little Mouse hurried to the forest and Big Bear arrived to town. They both looked straight ahead and they didn't even notice each other. So Big Bear scurried to town, Little Mouse hurried to the forest, and both of them didn't even see each other. The forest on Sunday was full of animals enjoying picnics. The only one who was all alone, Little Mouse thought. So here's Little Mouse here. Look at all these animals in the forest having a good time. The town on Sunday was lively and crowded with cheerful animals chatting and laughing. I'm the only one who is all alone, Big Bear thought. So Big Bear is by himself and everybody else has someone with them. Aww. I want the two of them to meet. What do you think? Big Bear hung his head and walked home. I feel so lonely. Little Mouse walked home, looking up to the sky. I feel so lonely. So Big Bear is looking down, Little Mouse is looking up. In front of Big Bear's house, their eyes met. Huh, hello, hello, er, I live here and I always drink tea alone. Well, would you like to have a cup of tea? Big Bear asked. Yes, I would love to have a, have a cup of tea. Just right now, I'm quite thirsty, Little Mouse answered. Wasn't that beautiful? Big Bear invited Little Mouse to have tea with him. This is great. Little Mouse entered Big Bear's big and cozy house. She took a seat on a teacup on a big table and drank tea from a little milk jug. This table is bigger than my house. It's great to drink tea in such a spacious home, Little Mouse said. You are my first guest ever. It's great to drink tea with a guest, Big Bear said. So there, have, look at Big Bear's table. 
And little mouse is so little, but Big Bear made everything perfect for little mouse. Aw, they're having a good time. And this is the first time Big Bear has had a guest. They talked about all they thought and felt about the town and the forest, about how things used to be and the good and bad of how things are now. They even talked about their wishes. Bear and Mouse had a great time together, but soon it was time to go home. Goodbye, said Bear. Can we meet again? Yes, said Mouse. How about next Sunday? Next Sunday, it was raining and the wind grew fierce. Big Bear was worried. Can we meet if it's such bad weather? So Big Bear looked at the window. But the sky grew dark and the rain dashed against the windows. It's a storm. Little Mouse's house is next to the river. What if the river bursts its banks? I have to help. Big Bear is concerned about Little Mouse because he knows that Little Mouse lives next to the river. So that surely is very thoughtful of Big Bear. Look at the storm. Big Bear rushed into the storm along the long, long road. So here's Big Bear's house. He has to go along this long road to get to Little Mouse's house. Are you okay, shouted Bear. Yes, said Mouse, but the storm will wreck my house. What can we do? The river looked as if it could burst its banks any second. Don't worry, little Mouse, I have an idea. Hold tight, yelled Big Bear. So look, the storm, the little house. Okay, Big Bear. Be careful, shouted Little Mouse from inside. <gasps> what did Big Bear do? He picked up Little Mouse's house. Wow. Big Bear ran through the raging storm while around him it was pitch dark. Big Bear's shoulder began to hurt as the house was very heavy but he continued running, calling out, everything will be fine, little mouse. Just don't lean out of the window. So Big Bear knows little mouse is in the house and he's telling him to not lean out the window. He wants him to stay safe. He wants little mouse to stay safe. Big Bear put little mouse's little house carefully next to his big house. I hope you like this spot, little mouse, Big Bear said. The oak tree will keep your house dry. Little Mouse came outside and smiled. Thank you, Big Bear. That's an excellent spot. In Big Bear's house at the cozy table, Big Bear and Little Mouse drank a cup of hot tea. The day was a successful Sunday, wasn't it? But we met. And so it came to be that the big house and the little house lived next to each other. Every morning, Little Mouse and Big Bear said, good morning to each other and went to work. Little Mouse to town and Big Bear to the forest. In the evening, they talked about all the things that happened that day and neither was lonely anymore. That was a wonderful conclusion of our story. Big Bear and Little Mouse were both lonely, but then once they finally met, it was wonderful because Big Bear rescued Little Mouse when there was a storm and Big Bear picked up Little Mouse's house and took it and put it next to the oak tree by his house. So then they were real close neighbors and they could 
see each other every day. So I hoped you like the big house and the little house. I thought it was a sweet story. See you next time.